A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. And a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more. Brian D0313. Dead Zergling. Radio Raptor. And Vlad Tepish3176. You all helped make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Roster here with some more Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Alright, let's see what all we have left to do. Oh, there's a few things. Most notably among them, Speedrun and The Guardian. Neither of which I have managed yet, though I have come close a few times to each. And, of course, we have all kinds of uh, greed mode and normal runs that need to be done. I think we did greed mode last time, though I can't remember for certain. And I'm pretty sure we've done a regular run recently, so uh, why don't we try the Guardian Challenge, since the last one I remember attempting was, in fact, the, uh, the speed run a couple of times, much to my hatred and annoyance. Not that the Guardian's going to be much better, but it gives us something to shoot for today. So, in this challenge, if you don't already know, the premise is, instead of you taking damage, you're invincible, you've got this sword, and this little guy here wanders into enemies and takes all the damage. So that's how that works. And things will not end well. They never do, but you could get lucky. If we can get a map and a compass, that would be hugely helpful. Or anything to, uh, you know, drop some more hearts would be great as well. Red or otherwise. So the best thing to do is to just stay ahead of this little guy and try to kill anything that could potentially get him before he wanders over. Especially difficult in these larger rooms. Because you never know where he's going. You just never know. Let us look for Tinted Rocks if we are able to do so. Now, I, let's see, there is a shop, but I don't think that there is, there are item rooms in this run. So that's unfortunate, although I will double check. I'd rather find out for sure on the first floor than not know later and screw up. Get that away from him. Keep that away from him. That almost got him. Well, this was a mistake, but we got a dead cat, which is nice. Uh, we'll definitely be coming back and get that. I want to see what my uh, boss room item is first, because it could be huge. I don't actually. I don't think Guppy status would even help us in the least here. So maybe nine lives isn't the best thing. In fact, it might be terrible. But you know, the worst that could happen is. You know, I die a little early on this run and start another one. Monstro always gets the hits on this guy. Okay, so we got a safety pin, which does basically nothing. Except give us a uh, black heart. Which I guess is technically something. I'll take it anyway, just for shits and giggles, but I think it's going to be a huge mistake. But you never know, it could uh, very well be the uh, extra item we need. It's not going to be the extra item we need, I can tell you that right now. I already regret taking it. But, oh well. You try new things and you learn what to do. Do I actually take damage from this? Uh, take damage from that. Poker chip, double downtime. Okay, so I can go into curse rooms for free, so that's nice. Uh, that wasn't nice. Not real sure what that does. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Good. There's a key we need. Could give us some shop potential. Those things are going to explode. Get away, get away, get away. Holy Diver. Now that was helpful. 
Money, money, money. We also have the boss room right now, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, this is not a boss room. Duh, huh. I'm just uh, a little off my game today. That was an unfortunate turn of events. Let's check Mr. Shop. Ooh, hourglass would be so good. Okay, I need to get the money for the glowing hourglass. Because that would be a game changer. Huge, huge deal. Lots of batteries that I can't really uh, use. Something tells me I'm not going to find 15 cents. That's uh, pretty unfortunate. I'll try bombing these pots. That could get me what I need. It did not. Of course, as soon as I start talking, my uh, nose starts clogging up. Because, why wouldn't it? Damn it! Well, I lived. But I still have to fight the boss again. Of course, why not? That was a little easy. Oh, I see you there. That was a little easier. So what do we got? Shot speed up, and a card. What's our card? The Emperor card. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, just move it on, I guess. I'll hang on to that Emperor card. I need a whole buttload of spirit hearts. That'd be great. Where to get them? I know not. Don't you do it. Ah, how the hell was I supposed to avoid that? I ask you. Round worm, not helpful. That makes your shots round. These mushrooms could potentially drop health up pills and stuff. That one didn't. I also missed the other two that I was going for. He's not going to move. Of course not. Why would he? Thanks for that. Sometimes just being completely unable to do anything about taking a hit is the most fun part of this game. But that's why it's a challenge, and not just, hey, here's the game on a silver platter. Unless I get some really good items. I would love to get some really good items. Be a health up, be a health up, be a health up. Not a health up. Hematemesis. Not so great for our current purposes. There's the money I needed just a little bit too late. Now that I have no keys to get into the shop. I can, however, get in here, so I'll do that. Troll bomb gave me a tick, which actually... You know what? Screw it, I'll take the tick this time. What that'll do is I can't get any other trinkets, however... It uh, decreases the health of bosses as soon as you enter their room, which is pretty useful. Especially considering how close I've come on some of these. Don't you do it. See, now I can't get that, which would have been kind of nice, but... Alright. Still don't have any keys, but we got a boss. Looks like a double boss room, which... And it's turdlings. Which are hard to kill under normal circumstances. Yeah, that's... that's delightful. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it through this one. Yeah, not, not gonna even be remotely a chance here. I'm just gonna have to try to find at least one spirit heart. If I had one spirit heart, I could probably tank it. But I need a key to get into the shop. Can't get that. Okay. Ah! Ass blasting bastards! Yeah, taking the dead cat was a mistake. Huge mistake. Well, now we know better, don't we? It would help if I could uh, fly a little bit faster as well. 
You know, kind of have that can't catch up with the enemies thing going on for me right at the moment. Not super helpful to me at this time. Is that syntax? It's important. Uh, frick. Yeah. Okay. Oh, in the future, we'll know definitely don't take Dead Cat on this one. Not, not a single key anywhere to be found, eh? That's the world we're living in. That's the hand we're being dealt. Alright, game. You've had your fun. Well, this'll solve my... Having lives problem is the way that sentence ends. And I need to speed up in the future. Oh, we're hosed. That's uh, pretty much all there is to it. What you gonna do, right? I guess we'll just uh, move on and hope I get lucky. I'll need to. Frickin' turtlings, man. Get him, get him, get him! Uh, don't come over here. What the hell is wrong with you, you little freak? No sense of self-preservation, I tell ya. I hope one of these is a health up. That ain't. Luck up's okay. Pretty fly. Uh, well, that'll up my damage output at least. Okay, let's uh head on down. Things are looking grim for our boy. Or fun times. Last life, and I'll be glad to see it go. Glad, I tell you. Glad. Yeah, let's prolong the inevitable, shall we? Why not? Why not? It's a disaster, but it's our disaster. Great. Fantastic uh, game we've had ourselves here. Really, just aces all over. Thanks, 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 thank, thank you, come again. Okay. Well, here we go again. Oh, cute game, real cute. Real cute. Well, let's hang on to this. It'll be more useful than the dead cat, I can tell you that right now. How much more useful remains to be seen. I need to speed up. A lot of speed up. There's our shop. Some nubs. Spider spitters, if you will. And a fat tapeworm. Which is odd to see down here. We got little horn incoming. That's uh, fair enough. Don't play with bombs, kids. You need adult supervision. Hey, alright, more spirit hearts, right? Yes, excellent. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And rather than stick around and lose health, let's head on down. This round already going better. Just right out of the gate. Ooh. Secret room. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. Still got a bit of a cold going on. Aw, oh, I can't use it. 
rats. Oh well. Hey, it's a tinted rock, and I just used up all my bombs. Alas. It would be easier if I could just push this guy, but I can't, for whatever reason. Maybe that would make it too easy. But probably, it would just make it just easy enough. There is a key. And there is a shop. I don't have much money, though. This time I'm looking for a bomb, though. A bomb. Give me a bomb. Monstro. Uh-oh. I don't know if that actually did anything for me, but I used it anyway. Not sure how I could have avoided those hits. There might have been a way- Hey, a speed up! Perfect. No, it's a range up. Not perfect. Okay. We have here... Um, some stuff. I'll take you. That's about... I don't even know if this familiar will work. Let's take it. And yes, it does work. Okay, good. That'll help us a little bit, I think. Probably should have taken some Dayquil before I started. Too late now. We're, we're in this. We're in this to grudgingly stumble through this. What the hell was this? This is not how these rooms are supposed to work. I mean, not that I'm complaining. I needed the spirit heart. And the key. Never did find that bomb I was looking for. There we go. Plenty of uh, half hearts lying around. Oh, you know what? That must have been a... Wait a minute. Where am I exactly? How did I... How did I get over here? What's what's happening? Oh, you know what? It's like a maze or something. Well, fair enough. Is it, though? Is it fair enough? What is fair? In relation to this game. Anyway, spiders! Ah, oh, you fuckers. Frickin' spiders! And they're still doing their thing over there, aren't they? Thanks for that. Do not like. Do not want. That was... That was a rough room right there, is what that was. Um. You know what, let's go ahead and do the boss, see if I get a devil room. The frail should die pretty fast. As it does not have a ton of hit points. From what I recall. Good. And is this more health? It is. More health means more health. Didn't get a devil room. But, I can use Guppy's Paw when I start getting low on health. And I'll get uh, one spirit heart for every... or three spirit hearts for every one container I use. So that'll be a good thing to have when I inevitably screw this up. Why am I still playing when I could just walk right to the next level, you ask? Uh, that's a fantastic question, and I wish I had an answer for you. I think the reason is because I'm looking for more money and hoping that I can buy some spirit hearts. Or there's options. There's options works too. Uh, does this work on the item room or the boss room? I think this works on the. Oh, I don't. I need. I need a penny. I need a bomb to get a penny. Or I need to just kill something. Maybe. Would do the trick. Uh, sure, that did the trick indeed. Ooh, golden bombs. Now I have no excuse not to bomb everything. On this floor. Other than, you know, 
having little fella get in the way and getting blown up, which would be very bad. Friends till the end, and down pills. We can find the top secret room. It's a top secret. Secret a secret. A secret so secret you wouldn't even believe it. Boy, howdy. Oh, I have my seven cents. I can go do the thing now. Julie, do the thing. Right. That's what we're talking about. Oh, and I can bomb this guy as well. Would love to get the 15 cents necessary for the anti-curse candle, but uh, don't think unless... Uh, Unless something really good comes down the pike, that ain't gonna happen. But I would feel remiss if I didn't do my due diligence to at least try. Hey, look! It's Mini Mush. Speed! That's good. That's that's what we need. I'm also looking for a crawl space. You know, in case we need a crawl space. Uh, definitely blow these up. Get you out of here so you can hopefully go the other direction. Oh, there we are. I knew there was a reason I did that. Now I am over here. Now I am over here. Why am I still hanging around? I don't know. I do not know. There's only one room left anyway. And I have the potential to still find a crawl space or something. So that's why I'm bombing things. I also could find the top secret room if I keep looking around. It could be somewhere like here. Or here. Maybe. Maybe? No. Okay. Oh, you know what? I bet it's down here. But first... Mushrooms ahoy! Ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy. Hi oh. Hey, a black heart. It was worth the trip. Yes indeed it was. Okay. We're moving on. Down and out. And around. Things could easily get so difficult that I can't hand- Oh, shit, I don't have a golden bomb anymore. I probably should have paid attention to that. But, uh, you know, you get used to doing things a certain way. And then you forget what is going on. Okay. By the way, this is the contract paying off. Getting two of drops in rooms when we get them. Dark Bum would be perfect for this, but I haven't seen him. We'd need to find him in a deal with the Devil Room. And I haven't been getting quite as many of those as I would like. Almost. Okay, yeah, the first one was pretty good. Crap. Crap Kalash. More bombs. Thank you. And a speed up. Perfect. Speed up is good for this. <coughs> you are not the direction I needed to go. Pity that. Gurglings. Those guys are too dangerous. Yeah, I'll chance a few more mushrooms. Hello! All stats up. Hell yeah. And that's why we blow up the mushrooms. Tears down. Does not really affect us. I'm fine with that. Ooh, and more mushrooms. They could potentially drop a health up pill, which would be great. Ah, uh, nope, just made me smaller, which is actually bad in the case of this particular challenge, but usually it's a good thing. Just, you know, not this particular instance. But being fast is good. Agile. Able to maneuver. I can get these without using up the keys. Yes, purrs. There's a shop. That was unfortunate. 
We got plenty of keys. Might as well do that. Uh, nothing in here I really want, though. Nothing that uh, really rings out. Maybe the boomerang, but I don't think it's 15 cents good. So let's just uh, keep this up. Fallen. Definitely going to take a hit here. Because I can't fight... Well, maybe I can. Ooh, yeah, we got our choices, and I'm taking this. Damage up. And... Ah, not the thing I was hoping for, but... Yeah, not taking you this time. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Do not want. Shit, I changed my mind, because you know what I could do? And then... There we go, okay. That may have been a mistake, but I don't think it was. So now, every time I die, I can use my paw and get three spirit hearts, okay. See, now I'm thinking with my brain head. Boy, would everyone would have let me have it in the comments if I'd missed that idea. I, th I can think sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Look how fast I'm moving. It's glorious. Glorious! Uh, do I bother? Do I bother? Do I bother? Mmm... No. Please don't step on the spikes, little guy. Uh-oh. Yep. I could, uh... See no way of getting out of that one. At least, not initially. I'll take that money. Waste that key. Of course. Why not? <coughs> okay, next place we are going is... Skelebombs. I had so hoped that I wouldn't take a hit there. One can dream. At least I'm clearing the rooms pretty quickly, if nothing else. Uh, do I see a tinted rock in here? Do I see one? I do not see one. We're going in all the wrong directions. Screw you guys. You guys too. A couple of them. And we are out. We a zombie slayer. Slaying them zombies. Killing them. Ah, the speed is so good. And the damage ups are helping immensely. Of that, I assure you. Uh, fanny pack lets us do something. Box of friends doubles your familiars. Not super relevant to our needs here. And the next shop will probably be greed. Because that's how these things tend to go. Shit, grubby man hands. I don't think I can actually avoid taking this hit. Nope, sure can't. That's just a I'm gonna get hit room, is what that is. Like, screw you, gamer. You're taking that hit. Take it! Uh, take it! Well, I do have lots more money now, but, um. Nothing really great to buy. I don't think. I'm not going to have a chance to get anything else, so I guess I'll get the fanny pack. Maybe it drops items when you get hit. Yeah, I think it drops items when you get hit, which, you know, as often as I get hit, could, uh, potentially be worth having. Gish! Gish, 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 gish. Dishes gets dishes. Do not hit my dude. Come on. I was right there. Uh, either Little Gish... Little Gish would be good. I think the uh, extra hit point will be better because that's three spirit hearts, basically. Boom. We got it. Bomb you. Bomb you! Nope. Not gonna deal with that. Okay. Cool. We're making progress.
But we've still got the two hardest floors to go after this. And Mom's stomping foot tends to hurt a lot. We get him. I think we got him. These rooms are all going to be messes of assorted natures. We're just going to have to hope little dude doesn't get hit. He almost did. He almost did. Let's just take the most winding ass path available. Sure. Basically just going to have to brute force this, I think. Very close to not having been hit by that. Horseshoes and hand grenades, horseshoes and hand grenades. That was just rude. Ooh, what pill is this? Hell yeah! That won't actually do anything for me, but... You know, it's nice that the game is being nice. Nice things are nice. What a concept. Hey, found the boss! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get this done before anything else happens. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I'll die! Yes! And I will take the Polaroid. I could actually do the freaking boss gauntlet on this run. I'm not going to, but it's cool as hell that I actually could if I wanted to. Um, here's a bomb, there's the exit. Let's, let's get out of here. We've got two floors to go, and I have the potential to actually get through them, so that's nice. Come to think of it, I'm not sure the Polaroid actually helps. Because the little guy won't get the shield, I'll get the shield. But the shield won't help me, but it would help him. But I have to be at one heart or less, so... Is that? And now I am. See how well that works? Uh, potentially works anyway. This isn't good though. I thought for sure this would be the right way to the end of the level. But with it being a larger room and all. But I am picking up bombs. Now if only I could get some spirit hearts to double drop. Not sure how I made it through there, frankly. Ooh, four potential items. Uh, yeah, we're doing this one. That was not an item. But it's just a Loki. This one could be a little trickier. Sure, why not? Wasn't too bad. And this. Piece of cake. All right. Just one heart, but we may have made some gains. Let's find out. None of these are items, huh? None of them? Just money. Alright then, well... If we find a beggar or a slot machine, I guess we're set. All set. Doing pretty good on keys, too. Roundworm. Great. Um, One of these. Easy to kill. Easy to handle. Ah, split Loki soup. Get him, get him. Get him good. Take worms. They're always more dangerous than I expect them to be. Whoa, uh uh. No, no. Go, go on fire. You don't belong here. Alright, the lovers will give me a couple of hearts if I want them. The, the two of hearts will double my hearts, which is not that uh, helpful without more hearts. Oh god, why always the tapeworms? They'll just pop up any old wear, won't they? Okay, which way to go? Up was wrong left was maybe not quite as wrong. Two luck ups in a row. Double lucky. Ah, yeah. Yep. Yep. 
Yo, yo, yo. Don't think I could have done much about that. Okay. The bloat. They certainly don't like the way this looks. I didn't like the way he was looking at me either. Okay, I need that heart for the health. Good. I'm gonna use some right now. Might as well use the other one too, frankly. Because I think this is the last floor, but we have to beat the heart, a.k.a. it lives. But I don't know how to get there from here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, damn. We were doing so well, too. Things just exploding everywhere, like they do. I'm not sure how to get these guys to pop up. That's how we get them to pop up, we just have to play the waiting game. Which sucks. You know what? Maybe I'll just push you. You ever think of that? You ever think of that? Maybe I'll just push you. I could just leave the room via bomb, but if I do that, and I pick the wrong way, I'll have to fight everything over again, and I don't want that. I don't. True story. This is one of the more annoying situations I find myself in. Frickin' come on, dude. This is the downside. Thank you. We got more to go. Believe it or not. Effing ridiculous. And only just push it a tiniest little fraction of a bit at a time. Ah, uh, You're not cooperating, little fella. Help me out, even just a little. Where are you? I want you to go up here. Of course you're not going to go the way I want you to go. Why would you ever? Never in life. Frickin' finally. Jeez. Ridiculous. See? And I would have picked the wrong way. Twice, in fact. So this whole route was completely pointless. In Effin Credible. Well, that just really chaps my balls. I couldn't afford, I, I could not afford that detour. I really couldn't. No. Never again. Thanks. So much. Okay. Well, it worked out, amazingly, for a change. So I can't be too bitter about that. I can, however, be quite bitter about this. Oh, there's more. Clearly. Should have known. Look at all that money, bonds, and keys. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, the arcade could have... A fortune teller machine. And a fortune teller machine could drop spirit hearts. Or just, you know, regular arcade stuff, I guess. <coughs> Might as well do this. Thanks so much. Ya yeah, dick. Oh. 
I'll take the poop hat. I mean, I'll kind of have to. Because what else have I got going for me, right? Not a whole lot. Well, let's bomb this bad boy and bust. And blow. Out of here. Really? This wasn't it either, huh? Well, we're exhausting the whole floor, I'll tell you that much right now. We went about this the long way, but I think we can tank the heart. I do believe we have got this in the bag. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And here we go. Get the eyeballs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Try to run interference. Yes! Oh, yes, oh yes, I'm not going in there. Thank you, game. Finally, another challenge down, and now we've got the blank rune. So that was uh, the Guardian challenge, and we have succeeded this time, despite my best efforts to screw it up. I thank you for watching. This has been your old pal, Rosser. Take a drink.